It was March 8, 2014. 239 passengers and crew boarded a flight from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing, unaware of the tragedy that would soon unfold. As the plane soared through the sky, communication abruptly cut off, and the plane vanished into thin air, leaving no clues behind. What happened to flight MH370? The aircraft, a Boeing 777 carrying 239 passengers and crew members, was operated by Malaysian Airlines. The flight was expected to be routine, but just a few hours into the journey, it disappeared from the radar without a trace. The last communication from the cockpit was a simple message. Good night, Malaysian 370. No distress signals were transmitted from the aircraft and there were no reports of adverse weather conditions or technical issues. At first, the search efforts were focused in the South China Sea, but after several days, the focus shifted to the Indian Ocean based on satellite data that showed the aircraft's flight path. The search for the missing aircraft quickly became the largest in aviation history, with multiple countries joining the effort to find the wreckage. Malaysia's Prime Minister soon announced that the flight was presumed lost in the Indian Ocean with no survivors. The global search effort involved more than two dozen nations, including the United States. But the mystery of what happened to Flight 370 remained unsolved. Despite the multinational search effort, only 20 pieces of aircraft debris have been recovered. The lack of closure has led to numerous theories, many of which are considered conspiracy theories. These theories range from hijacking to capture by the United States, crew suicide, a fire aboard the aircraft, vertical entry into the sea, a meteor strike, and even alien abduction. In June 2014, Australian officials announced that radar records suggested the plane was flying on autopilot for hours before it ran out of fuel and crashed into the southern Indian Ocean. The officials did not speculate on who put the plane on autopilot or why, but indicated it was possible that the crew and passengers had become unresponsive due to hypoxia or oxygen loss. Despite the lack of evidence, some authorities suggested that one of the pilots of Flight 370 could have deliberately flown the aircraft into the Indian Ocean on a suicide mission. The disappearance of Flight 370 captured the world's attention, and as the years passed, pieces of wreckage washed ashore on the western Indian Ocean, fueling the search for answers. However, the fate of Flight 370 remained a mystery. In 2018, the Malaysian government concluded that the change in flight path had been done manually from inside the plane, but the reason for the plane's disappearance remained unknown. Tragically, just four months after the disappearance of Flight 370, another Malaysian Airlines plane was shot down over eastern Ukraine near the Russian border. All 298 people on board perished, and the incident further devastated the airline and the families of those lost on both flights. Did this have anything to do with Malaysia Airlines Flight 370? Was it also shot down? Well, further findings and evidence show that the MH370 flight was most likely not shot down. In fact, the flight had veered off its original route and ended up west of Malaysia, instead of on its original northeast route headed to Beijing. The discovery of a large piece of debris from the wreckage of Malaysia Airlines MH370 on Aunt Siraka's South Beach in Madagascar could hold the key to uncovering the fate of the missing aircraft. After nearly nine years of limited evidence, British engineer Richard Godfrey and US-based MH370 expert Blaine Gibson believe the damage to a recovered piece of the aircraft's landing gear door indicates a deliberate attempt to down the aircraft. The deep slice marks found on the wreckage are believed to have been caused by a significant force upon impact, and combined with the extended landing gear, supports the theory of an intentional crash. This is because if a plane crashes into the water, the landing gear is usually not released to prevent the aircraft from breaking apart on impact or sinking too quickly. However, the landing gear door discovered shows evidence of being released and sliced by a Boeing 777 engine compressor blade ring upon crashing, which suggests that the landing gear was extended on impact. This supports the conclusion that there was an active pilot until the end of the flight. Another confirmed piece of the aircraft's right wing flap was discovered on Pemba Island, Tanzania in 2016. An inquiry by the Australian Transport Safety Bureau 
indicated that the jet's flaps were not deployed, suggesting an uncontrolled descent. The pilot in command of the flight was Captain Zahari Ahmad Shah, with Farik Abdul Hamid as his co-pilot. During a police investigation, it was found that Shah had simulated a similar flight over the Indian Ocean on his home computer just weeks before the disappearance of flight MH370. This has led to further speculation about his involvement in the crash. While the actual exact cause of the disappearance remains unknown, the leading theory suggests that the aircraft was intentionally downed, either by the pilot or another unknown party. Despite extensive searches, the full jet has yet to be found, and a new search is expected to begin in 2023 or 2024. The discovery of this new piece of evidence offers hope for the families and friends of the missing passengers that the mystery of MH370 will finally be solved. What are your theories about what happened to flight MH370? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe.